Uh, hey, Noah, what's with all the accessories? Well, today's about crashes, so I thought I should be prepared. Let's just get started. Uh, hi everyone, it's me, Ava, and with me is my friend Noah, safety commander extraordinaire. Yes, it's time to buckle up, because we're about to share the top reasons for crashes, along with some important tips to help you avoid them. All right, first up, we have the uncontrollable, the unpredictable, the often unforgiving weather. We got rain, we got snow, we got sleet, we have fog rolling in, so drive safe out there. Yes, gotta watch out for that mother nature. She has a way of making the road slippery or making it harder for you to see. So when conditions get dicey, slow down and give yourself as well as other drivers extra room for stopping. Driver said, fun fact, did you know in Ohio and other states, there's a law that you must have your headlights on if your wipers are on day or night. That way you'll see better and other drivers will see you better too. Are you seriously sleeping right now? Nah, I'm just playing with you because our next top reason is drowsy driving. I see what you did there. Listen, we get it. You're gonna pull all-nighters for a test or hang out late with your friends. But if you can't stay awake, at least stay off the road. Catch a ride with a friend or call someone you trust to come pick you up. And if the sleepy strike mid-trip, try rolling down the windows or banging out your favorite jam until you can safely pull over. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, up next. Reckless or aggressive driving. Here's a tip. If you're thinking about racing another driver, blowing through a stop sign, or even trying to outrun the police. Yeah, just don't. It's not a good idea. It's dumb, it's dangerous, and it can end up costing you a lot of money, your license, or even jail time. But most importantly, it could cost someone their life. Speaking of dumb things drivers do, Drunk or drugged driving is the cause of thousands of crashes each year. That's because impaired driving affects a person's judgment, coordination, reaction time, depth perception, emotions, basically everything that makes them a good driver in the first place. So don't drive under the influence. Don't get in the car with the driver who's under the influence. And don't be afraid to call the police if you suspect another driver on the road might be. Signs to look out for include someone going excessively fast or slow, weaving in and out of their lane, or following way too closely. Which, unfortunately, could also be signs of another common crash-causing behavior, distracted driving. This is a huge reason for teen crashes. And distracted driving is more than just texting. It's anything that takes your eyes off the road, your hands off the wheel, or your mind off driving. For more about this serious problem, check out our video covering the most asked questions about distracted driving. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And I hear some real cute boys as well. Not my words. Ooh, wow, last reason already? <sighs> you might say this has really been Speeding by. No surprises here. Speeding causes crashes, so consider this your friendly reminder to not speed. It's never worth it. But what if you've got like five seconds to get around a gigantic truck with cow maneuver? No, sorry. Better luck next time. But what if a herd of deer is chasing after you? Nice try. Still, the answer is no. But what if Bigfoot comes out of the woods and starts knocking down traffic signs and squashing everything in his or her sight. Seriously? No. What world are you living in right now? Oh, you know, just playing out possible scenarios. Uh-huh. Possible scenarios. Anyway, for more about these top reasons for crashes and how to avoid them, check out publicsafety.ohio.gov.